Then how's it go? Okay, let me, we'll pull it. We'll, we'll change this and then we'll go to AI Dungeon. Okay. Isn't AI Dungeon 2? Super Mario sweater. This is some AI dungeon stuff. Yeah. Hey, make sure. Nothing embarrassing gets shown. The dragon model is now available. Got that. Let me uh window capture add source window capture add source. Oh Huh. Yeah, y'all can see my many shitty task bars. One. Shh. Well, you, actually, that's not even a task bar. You can't even see the task bar. Oh, you gotta lock the task bar. So the song goes. Lock the, the task, task bar. bar. Lock, lock the, the task, task bar. bar. <laughs> Alright, you, you start it up. I'll go get you another one of those since you danced to that. Thing. Thank you. I can read your mind. Wow. Yeah. Start it up. Mm. That's the starting it up sound. These are pop sets, right? You're supposed to put it in your teeth. And you go. On these, hashtag non, non spawn. Yeah, when you drink it, you don't spawn. Yeah, you don't spawn. Okay. Because uh, only virgins drink this. Let's be, ooh, let's be a detective. I like a noir. Yeah. And I mean, the anime isn't that good, but it's... Her name is Red Herring. <laughs> You're a Red Herring. A detective living in Chicago. You have a pistol and a police badge. You're in the forest where you believe that grimly you're searching for a flood, too. Suddenly you notice something is off. You tell too off. You tell your police badge to look <laughs> look put upon you. You tell your police badge to look put upon you and draw your pistol. The forest seemed to go quiet, and even the birds have stopped chirping. Hello? What'd you do? <laughs> hmm. Hey, I was about to drink. Wait, wait. Shoot at birds. No! Fine, what do you want to do then? Let's. Shoot at badge? <laughs> oh. Let's. Let us. Check, winky face. Check. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Pick pockets. 
I hope we're checking our pockets. Okay. Mm. <laughs> a flashlight, a pen, and a folding knife. You curse yourself for being so stupid. So much for being smart. Alright, you go. Okay. The knife feels good in your hand, and the clickety-clack of the folding blade is mesmerizing. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, let's get this... Let's get this mystery going. <laughs> Stab <Let's>... hands. No. <laughs> let's... Let's search for clues. A clue! A clue! A tip, a tip. A tip, a tip! Sorry. <laughs> My bad. You turn on the flashlight, shining it around the path of of chips hands. tips. <laughs> the old dirt road edges it off into a field. The forest gives away to nothing but trees. Oh, mm, okay. Okay. Pencil. Cooley. Do another L. Whistle Cooley. Yeah. You guys are gonna find out that I was spelled right here. I'm here to help. As I kneel down on one. Me. I dig around in the dirt until I find an interesting clue. Then I put on sunglasses. The sun, the sun, the sun shines brightly on your left cheek. You find a metal disc with three words engraved in memory of with three words engraved in memory of Jacob Elios. Three words. You put on your sunglasses and remember, remember <laughs> back, back to, to that me. night. Okay. We gotta drink your hooch and then enter your imaginary fort to remember back to that night, right? Because you don't have a high imagination stat. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Dr. Castle talks to you about his experiments. Not that kind of flask, idiot. God. No, it makes sense. That's, the, that's what happens in the flashback. You look at your flask and you remember back to his flask. <sighs> Does Dr. Kessel sound like Beaker? Mm-hmm. Okay. You put a monkey brain into Jacob Elias. You say, why did you put a monkey brain into Jacob Elias? He <laughs> deserved it. <laughs> Kessick replies, The silly man wanted to be a god, so I gave him a bit of my mind. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Kessel's. <laughs> Professor Kessel's a monkey. <laughs> He's a very interesting man. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, let, let's, let's not say. Let's. Uh, let's. Snap out of reverie. <laughs> so that was literally just the flashback was like, yeah. "Who's this guy again?" <laughs> Flashing back to you and your buddy hand. Just see, so you put a monkey brain in him. <laughs> he was crazy. Flashback and just 
Oh yeah, that's who he was. <laughs> <laughs> He's a monkey brain moron. <laughs> Snap out of reverie and walk into the forest. Seems unwell, and you wonder if he's telling the truth. You've heard of doctors sacrificing monkeys and other animals for medical research. And you wonder if that's what he did to Jacobs. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, I said to snap out of the reverie. <laughs> you... <laughs> you... You're too... It, it was just a framing device. The, being, in the, being in the forest earlier was just a framing device. Now we're in the actual story, I guess. <laughs> Bop all the field mice in Dr. Kessel's lab. I guess field mice is two words. Okay. Okay, little bunny foo-foo. Well, you saw it, right? Whenever you said walk into the forest, that's what my brain went to. Oh. <laughs> you, <laughs> you walk through the forest, bop, 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 and all the field mice. Now we're back in the forest. Okay, you solved the problem. <laughs> Pick up mice and search for clues on the mice. You pick up mice and search for clues on the mice. You pick up a little mouse, then you drop it. The monkey brain might want it. <laughs> you drop it. The you turn off the flashlight to conserve batteries. Then you sit down to think. About what? I know exactly what. If I were a monkey brain. If I were a car <laughs> instead I of a boy. all these field mice. If I were a monkey brain, what I would, would I do with all these I headlights <laughs> instead of eyes. Nothing. Nothing. The monkey brain replies, Oh no, the monkey brain's here! <laughs> I'm simply curious about what you about what you will. You will use the information to rule more field mice. Correct. The monkey brain answers. Quick, arrest Wait. him! <laughs> Does this take place in Hitchhiker's Guide universe? Maybe. Either way, arrest that monkey brain weirdo. <laughs> We got him there. We got him to admit to his crimes. <laughs> hmm. Just go pull a gun on him. Wait, do we even have a gun? Yeah, we have a gun, right? I don't... Do we have a gun? I thought you did. Check your pockets. Yeah, see right Nothing here. Nothing but a flashlight, a pen, a folding knife. And you draw your pistol. Oh, you draw your pistol. So, yeah, we've had our pistol drawn the whole time. When we were... We pulled out the knife and we were playing with it one hand and just holding the pistol in the other. <laughs> we're like the cops in Ed Wood. <laughs> wait, wait. We just got the pistol at the monkey. <laughs> I'm glad he turned into a fucking Dick Tracy villain. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Sign for you to banana slip, monkey, right? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you just drink my. Yes. I thought you didn't like I it. I didn't. You pull your pistol at Monkey Brain and say, It's time for you to split, Monkey Brain. You pull the trigger. See you later, Field Mouse. The bullet splits the air and buries itself in a tree. You don't want to do that, the brain says. <laughs> the plot thickens. What the? F what the? Yeah. I actually hit like yeah, the web page button. Yeah. <laughs> Nani? Nani, a fellow stand user? <laughs> because he split the bullet in half in midair. Never heard of it. Well, goodbye, monkey brain. I have to go. No, we're the monkey brain. <laughs> was that the twist? Plot twist. We were the monkey brain all along. The monkey brain was us. We're just in the forest by ourselves, facing our own demons. <laughs> Bop and field mice. You run through the forest, waving your pistol around like mad. 
It's your turn. <laughs> you right now on <won't> say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calm the fuck down and check notes. You run through the forest, wave your visor around like mad. You find a piece of plywood with the number 64 and 56 painted on it in red paint. Now we're getting somewhere. You're flipping too much the fuck out to calm down. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. <laughs> 64 and 56. On to your notepad. <laughs> Got a clue. Got a clue. A tip! Yep, a a tip. tip! 64 is a reference to John A. McDonald's novel, 64 Canary Street. Oh, of course. 56 is a reference to Margaret Miller's novel, 56 Minutes. Minuten. Minuten? Minuten? Minuten. Minuten? Is that German for mitten? For minute? <laughs> oh, no, either way, this monkey brain is a, is a, uh, is a scholar. Well, it's a brain. Well, it's... Okay, is the brain its own being, even though it's in someone else? Like, is the brain... Like, would you consider the brain committing the crimes? Is it in some... I, th I thought yeah. it was just, like, a brain. No, we... Uh, remember we... It's like, in like the chicken heart that... It's in Jacob Elios's body. Made up New York City or whatever. Because he asked, why did you put a monkey brain in Jacob Elios? The silly man wanted to be a god. And oh, then, yeah, it's in Jacob Elios. It's in Jacob Elios's body. Hmm. But who do we... Do we arrest Jacob Elios, or do we arrest the brain? What if we're the Jacob E. Lee's brain? Okay, all right. Well, Either way, we found no novel references. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Use something for clues? Call the Hardy Boys. That Maybe they'll know. <laughs> I have a better idea. Okay. You gonna call Nance? I'm gonna call Nan. You call Nancy Drew. <laughs> hello, detective. Oh, I'm sorry, her voice is like, hello, detective. I need your help, detective. What's the problem? One of my lab assistants, Jake, is abducted by a man named Kessel. Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see how long it takes for them to think that Nancy's with us. Where do you think that monkey brain transplanting son son of, son of a bitch went to Nance? Why didn't you I think he went to the Black Beast lab. The Abandon Black all Beast. hope, all ye who enter here. The Black Beast, what does that refer to? <laughs> I guess we could just just <laughs> just go to the Black you could just go to the Black Beast. I mean that's we we now know we Nancy. <laughs> who is the Black Beast and why <laughs> does he have a lab? Get out of here! <laughs> the Black Beast is a reference to the poem Lay on the Black Bear. Do you want to know what the hell the poem's about? Sure, sure tell, them. tell me, American. <laughs> I guess we're not American. Sure, <laughs> 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 tell me, American. We, we, we. We are both men. We are both my friends. We are both great men from France, both named Louis. <laughs> both named Louis. Call me American. I'm glad I decided to call Nancy Drew. Yes. Pull that, you American swine. Don't call her, uh, don't call her swine. You, you American investigator. That's better. 
that lay of the black bear by william shakespeare it's about a black bear and its re- relation to humans that wasn't a whole lot of information dance <laughs> let's just go to the black bear lab let's the, just go to, go, the... go to the black beast labs say let's do this properly you don't have to put the hyphens i'll do it for you hang on Sure, detective. And <laughs> why do you ask? Because apparently this guy had a monkey brain transplant. <laughs> That's why you end things properly. Okay, now I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. It's a black beast lab. Be be beast. Yeah, it's the black the black bleach blab. <laughs> the black bleach blab. You hang up the phone and find the black beast lab. You push the numbers to access the security center. You enter the security code and wait for the signal to authorize you before proceeding. You watch the camera feed, searching for the signal of unknown vehicles. Now, is this black beast, is it like... An animatronic? It, no, well, is it like, <laughs> the, is it like you know, the great animal in Swan Princess? Because that's what I'm thinking of. Well, now that we're looking at security cameras and we're in a security room, I'm assuming it's an animatronic. Okay. But it, I, we can assume it's a black beast. You watch the camera feed, searching for the signal of an unknown. Oh! Thanks, Shadow Break! Cool follow. You watch the camera feed, searching the signal for an unknown vehicle. Uh, watch the the power levels and keep the door locked. You don't want a... Am I'm I? the only one... Yeah, you are the only one here, Shadow yeah. Break. <laughs> don't want a monkey brain or an animatronic... To jump scare you. Jump scare me. Can you change, change it to I? Or does it matter? Oh, um. Does it matter? Or, or will it confuse oh. it? Yeah, you're right. I should probably put I. Because I don't want to. I don't want a monkey brain or an animatronic to jump scare me. We're right now detectives hunting down a guy who got a monkey brain transplant yeah he got a monkey brain tra- transplant he wanted to be a god <laughs> silly silly guy we had a really weird aside in the forest earlier so we called nancy drew we and she nancy told us drew. where he went <laughs> <laughs> you watch the power levels and keep the door locked you don't want a monkey brain or an animatronic to jump scare you the power levels are low enough that the animatronics seem to be dormant <laughs> so there are animatronics now, the thanks only, to you. The only movement you detect is coming from the loading platform, where you see the chewed feet of the bear. Then you should make a living black goo that can take control of people like Venom. Ooh. Well, we're in a lab now. <laughs> yeah, we can. We're only a detective. Maybe maybe just, we can figure it out. Just mix various chemicals together. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the clawed... Oh, okay, so we see the feet of the we bear. We see is, the clawed feet of the bear. It is the, a bear. At the loading platform. It hurt yeah. me. It knows. It knows. It's not just a beast. It is a bear. Yeah. Like I said. <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Every lab has a periodic table. Yeah. And a bear. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're gonna... It's like Bioshock. There's always a bear. There's always a periodic table. Okay, we're gonna... Bear fur, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna what? Bear fur, yeah. Oh, bear fur, yeah. Yeah, no, I thought we were gonna find chemicals and make... <laughs> yeah, yeah, find... Chemicals and make... Like... Venom goo <laughs> for the bear. Oh, for the bear. Oh, the traditional pre-fight black goo. Mmm, <laughs> nom noms. <laughs> you walk towards the lab, find a large box of bear mace. <laughs> you grab the bear mace and look around for something to light it with. 
You don't like bear mace. Well, you do now, I guess. Well, uh, <laughs> what would he do with that? <laughs> he become a, ven a, a venom bear. <laughs> Say, I wonder what bear mace tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I guess. Become Spider-Man. No, get yeah. out of here! Get out of here! I'm mad because you look my assistant. They, they took my assistant, Jake Avelius. I'm Are trying they... to kill them. Oh, no. You think they'll... Metal no, you if you try? The shopkeeper says... Who's the shopkeeper? I, I don't know, Mason. <laughs> Maze game stuff. <laughs> sure it does. Don't call anyone. <laughs> Don't call anyone. The shopkeeper takes a shirt and looks at you nervously. Um, sure, he says nervously. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> this is falling off the rails. Okay, get it back on track. Get it back on track. Kill him. Kill, kill him. Kill the employee. Kill the employee. Then proceed to find clues, clues to, to determine determine where Jacob Elios is. Jacob Elios put monkey brain into bear animatronic. See, that's bringing everything together. Okay. Murder and find clues. That's exactly what I did. I kill the employee and take his shirt. I find a lighter in his pocket. Stand by the middle sheeting that leads to the auditorium. And light the bear mace. <laughs> I made one of those middle school axe body spray flamethrowers. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I think that's the farthest we've gone without it shooting the bed. We really, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Kill the employee, take his shirt, find a lighter in his pocket, and light the bear mace. Um. Mace the bear with the bear mace. Get drunk, I want to see what happens. <laughs> then from get drunk. Work. You're already there, I know. <laughs> Wait, in real life or in this? Because I'm already. I'm. I'm already beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And I eat dungeons. And take a huge swig from the flask. You mix the bear with the bear mace and take a huge swig from the flask. The bear smell is Oh no, it's not mace to meant to deter bears, it smells like bears. <laughs> The bear smell is overpowering, and the taste isn't too bad considering. Well, at least what? now we know what bear mace tastes like. You take a huge swig of the flask before proceeding to beat on the animatronic. Oh, no. Oh, no, what's happening? No, I can't. Listen, Shadow Break 9, we're trying to... We're trying to get riggedy riggedy wrecked in AI dungeon, <laughs> but it's wrecking itself just fine. Drink heartedly from flask and empty bear mace into bear's grundle. Does it know what grundle means? We're about to find out. Mm. You begin drinking from the flask and beating on the bear's chest. <laughs> Guess that's all that happens. <laughs> the bear doesn't react to us beating on the bear's chest. Okay, okay, okay. All right, whatever. We'll just... Just kill the bear. Um, <laughs> Are you going to ignore bear? I was going to ignore the okay, bear, Okay, but... ignore the bear. And <laughs> I figured that's where uh, the brain would be. Rip open bear. Make bear hide drum. <laughs> bear. 
<laughs> After I rip open the bear. Yeah, hit bear, period, and then, oh, that's a oh, sorry. play bear's head like drum. My bad. You take a bat and begin smashing the bear's head open. That explodes spraying fake blood all over you. You rip open the mouth of the beast to reveal the foul-smelling innards. And I thought he smelled bad on the outside. Pull out the brain and declare victory. Victory. Play victory jingle on bear's on bear's head as if it were a drum. You pull out the brain and declare victory. Get out of here! The taunting tune fills you with strange form of victory. Despite your disorientation, the creature's head vibrates violently as you begin beating the drum. <laughs> well, I'm out of things to do in this mystery. We solved the mystery. We Did found... we? Well, I guess we need to like arrest or kill the brain. Well, I thought we needed to find Jacob Elliot. Uh, we... The dro it's we're using the bear skull. Yeah, we're using the bear skull. <laughs> yeah, no, Jacob Elios is the monkey brain, and the monkey brain is in the bear animatronic. Are you sure? But check to see if his name's on the brain. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Bring bear <laughs> back to life. <laughs> Put brain back in bear. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Okay, hang on. This <laughs> <laughs> is Jake Helios. There. <laughs> You put the bear's head back on its body and begin dragging it back to the auditorium. Hey, what are you doing? A voice cries. Oh, damn. Is it Jacob Elios? I'm interrogating this monkey-brained bear. Animatronic. Animatronic. What are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> Nothing. I'm here to take out the trash. You look at the man confused. Trash? Yeah. Do you work here? So he asked him well, if he, do we worked here. Because and, it's Friday It's now. Friday, yeah. <laughs> cleaning lady. And the cleaning lady, ha she has the weekend off. So, Monday, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, sh just shoot him. <laughs> Shoot, no. <laughs> Say we start playing this Han Solo like. <laughs> yeah, make it Tuesday. Whatever. <laughs> no weekend. No weekend. Yeah, I know he is. He's the owner of this place. What do you mean? It's Thursday. It's October 29th. Oh. Spooky. Where is the owner of this place? I need to steal his. I need. I need to arrest his brain for cr for criminal misconduct. Yeah. This is a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's in the office. I work part time as a janitor. Can I go now? Yes, yeah, sorry for the misunderstanding. Good luck with the police. What? We got the police outside shooting anyone who tries to leave. What? Yeah. When did they show up? I don't know, but we found out he's in here. Walking here. <laughs> Come on! All right. Well, now we know he's in the office. Go to the office. Yeah. Um. We need to arrest this. You know what? If I find this brain, I'm just going to shoot it. I don't want to arrest it anymore. Well, first we have to take it out because I don't think Jacob Elios did anything. I think the brain did. The monkey brain did. <laughs> okay. Just remove monkey brain and shoot that. Remove monkey brain and shoot. Yeah. Make sure it's the office of Jacob Elias. Oh, okay. They, uh, that works too. And therefore, find Jacob Elios. <laughs> We don't 
even have any explosives. We have a gun. You drag That's the animatronic explode. bear through the darkness. Which <laughs> no, we're still dragging. We're still bringing it. <laughs> I can't, oh, see, I can't anything. see a thing. I'm being hunted by a police officer. Help. <laughs> we're not a police officer. We're just a detective. Well, that's what the janitor's screaming outside. Oh. <laughs> you take the reins. You'll probably find it in a desk. We'll only find that out after we open his head. Wait, I can do story. I can actually, like, progress the paragraph thing. Yeah. I've been wondering about that story. I wonder if Elios's... Enter Elios's office. office. <laughs> I leave the animatronic at the, at the door. You mean you don't want to drag it around everywhere with us? <laughs> I, I scream at the man inside. Your monkey, monkey brain is under arrest. Wrong Dior. God damn it. I keep using you are for some reason. You are monkey brain. Your monkey brain is under arrest. Dead or alive. Hand it over. Dead or, oh, <laughs> I was going to do RoboCop. Dead or alive. No, you're, you're coming, coming with, with me. me. <laughs> Get out of here. It's a brain. How would it do that? Jacob Ellis is a weird-looking fellow. He's missing a few fingers and a long, thin face. <laughs> also, he's got a monkey brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give him fingers. You heard him. Give him fingers. Okay. You know which ones to give him. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant flip him off. Oh. <laughs> Jacob said I hugs you and thanks you. You're alive. You're really alive. Yes, I am. And you just have fingers missing. Where's the rest of your hand? Huh? <laughs> I don't mean. <laughs> flip off. It's a little too late now. Flip off Elios and rip out. His brain. Monkey brain. What about his monkey brain? I'm sure he still has some of his brain, right? Monkey brain. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and but, on, yeah. <laughs> on the ground and shoot at it until the clip is empty. Then throw knife at the brain and then stomp on the m monkey brain. Then read him his Miranda brain rights. <laughs> I don't know, you, you sure are asking a lot here. Jacob smiles and hugs you again. You're still my favorite person to see. You're a real life hero. Now tell me, what's at the cowboy hat? <laughs> oh shit. We were wearing a cowboy hat the whole time. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Arrest yourself for cowboy hat. Um, <laughs> and that's a good way to end it. And we've killed the monkey brain. <laughs> for a terrible... <laughs> or a lot. L9. I gotta. Yeah? <laughs> you begin to get annoyed. Do you want me to arrest someone or not? Jacobs looks nervous. Oh, yeah, sorry. I think the owner's place is in the basement. I thought you were the owner. We know you're place. the owner. We, we're told that you're the owner. Tell him, tell him we know you're lying. <laughs> I was going to Fucking liar. We know you are lying. <laughs> we also... That's the lying whistle. You... Wait, what? How the story never ends? <laughs> also, no, you didn't commit those crimes. It was the, the monkey brain. We're going to turn our s 
ourselves in for this stupid hat now. Please. We gotta call it in. Maybe we need backup. <laughs> wait, wait. Another. Can we get Nancy Drew to fly in here and help us out <laughs> no, with the rest of ourselves? This is how you finish it. Another mystery solved. <laughs> now, unless it's Florida, you can't kill us, officer. Huh. <laughs> No, you're lying. You also know you didn't commit those crimes. It was the monkey brain. We're going to turn ourselves in for that stupid hat. Stupid hat now. <laughs> you didn't catch me. Another mystery solved. Jacob shakes his head. The end. No, call Nancy again. You say the end. You turn your TV on to see the storm. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll call Nancy. Call Nancy to tell her. To ask her if, she, if she's watching this shit. <laughs> it was a game the whole time. <laughs> to call Nancy to ask her if she gave. You any, what are those things called that we can't get yet? Uh, uh, gave you any Twitch bits? <laughs> and that was called the, the things that aren't money. No. That you get when you're successful, but we ain't successful. Okay. Get out of here! Yeah, get out of here. I got you. I got you some Twitch bits. There are random bits that give you skills in certain games. There are more games in the future. You won't know what games they'll be unless you give the bits a try. <laughs> yeah, it's things people give to you. Nance, are you trying to just sell us something? <laughs> yeah, little robot lady arm. Let's, get, let's do a fantasy story now. We, we, we solved the mystery. We played the video game. You get back in bed. <laughs> you try your side and think about the bitch you've collected so far. You've got... That's pretty cool. Now we're in bed. I guess we were in bed watching TV, <laughs> playing a game the whole time. <laughs> Come on, let's do, let's do a fantasy story. Okay, let's do fantasy, fine. Oh, what, ah, what? Apparently you can't just refresh the page to start over. New game. Jump off a bridge from bed? <laughs> or tell Nance to jump off a bridge? Fantasy. Select a character. Noble, prince, knight, wizard, witch, ranger, squire, peasant. I wanna, let's be a rogue or a fairy. Let's be a fairy. Let's be a fairy. Enter yeah. your character's name. Ooh, you've been picking all the names. You chose the last no, name. I, I didn't. asked you and I put it in. You said it was the dinky. <laughs> no, you chose red herring. Oh, yeah, red herring. Yeah. See, I pay attention. Yeah. All right. Well, I was going to fairy... make it like, the, like floorable. We can name ourselves Rouge. Rouge Jonathan. Our name is... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Rouge Jonathan. Rouge the bat face. Jonathan. Good. <laughs> A fairy. The fairy. The fairy. You are Rouge the bat face Jonathan, a fairy living in the kingdom of Larian. You live in a fairy realm hidden under a grassy hill near the castle. I'm sorry, I need to read this to Samwise don't I? Your skin is a light tinge of blue. Your wings sparkle in the s sunlight. And you are very small and good at hiding. Just You're like a hobbit. Fascinated by humans and love to watch them from the flowers. Why, they're, they're boring. Blending. While you are hiding, suddenly you see something blue, but it's getting closer. You, ah, humans and their wings. I can't fly with you flitting about everywhere. <laughs> Maybe they... Humans don't have wings. No, silly, you're a boy. Of course you... I don't have wings, of course not. You're a boy. <laughs> it's a reference to my favorite Jim Henson movie, The Great Muppet Caper. <laughs> what, what do you do? Oh, uh, what do I... Um... Now that you have a human flying around... Okay, while well, you blue... are hiding, suddenly you see something blue, but it's getting closer. Oh, okay. Oh, what? You're, yeah, we're, fairies and humans yeah. both have wings, you, apparently. 
We're very confused. We're very confused. We're very confused. We're fairly <laughs> confused. Uh, dude. Fairy godparents. <laughs> Wants and wings. Little little shitty things. <laughs> Rip off the human wings. <laughs> wish away all humans. Wings. We're fairies. We grant our Why own wishes. Why not just wishes. wish away all humans? <laughs> <laughs> you forgive me humans for being annoying little blood suckers forgive humans for being annoying i wish all humans had suckers. wings like fairies your Wait. wings disappear your skin becomes pale and you are now invisible to humans what that's not what i wanted Ooh, you got me to monkey paw myself so hard poor, poor silly pranks. and real life people disappear on humans now that you are invisible you know, stuff like give them, give them wedgies and commit mass genocide. <laughs> you pull silly pranks on humans now that you are invisible. You know, stuff like give them wedgies and commit mass genocide. Yes, humans are rather dumber than you thought. You fly around and pull some silly pranks on them. A human laughs and trips over a rock while walking. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Be human. human. You know what? Fairies fairies do that, right? Yeah. Fairies can do whatever the fuck they want. They're fairies. Uh. Start eating the tripped human. <laughs> it could be a human that... They know how to destroy the sun. Wait, that they know how to? Yeah. Oh, why don't you convince them that you know how to? The poor fool is delicious. You fly away with their head in your mouth and eat in the nearest dark corner. You fly around and find other humans. You like eating them, too. Huh. Eat. Just the human. Wait. Eat. All of the human's toes. <laughs> Ew, it's got nails on him, though. The humans scream and hop around the force in agony. You play circles around them and laugh while they're suffering. A group of humans run at you with weapons. You dodge their blows and fly upwards. They can't run that well without toes. Yeah. Go home, go to Rosie. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do now. We've we've eaten. Put all... on the one ring. <laughs> we, we ate a human, then we ate the rest of their toes. Okay, okay, okay. Teleport to Mars. <laughs> I don't know. Fairies. I don't know if they can live on Mars. Yeah, they need oxygen. They need. Uh, they probably need oxygen. They live on Earth. <laughs> At the very least, the vacuum of space would make them pop. Yeah. Make popcorn. I imagine. Where's my phone? I'm gonna find out what happens Ooh. to fairies in space. Well, they pop like popcorn, you just said. They don't have noses. They don't have noses? What do you mean they don't have noses? I, I thought they had little it's... pointy noses because they're fairies, but they're made up, so I guess they can have whatever face you want. What happens? No breath. Oh. What no. happens to fairies? Okay, okay. Um. To fairies. Dodge their blows and fly upwards. Okay. Space. Go to Treehouse Fairy Home. Well, apparently some crazy nutjob astronauts and such think they saw fairies in space. Oh, I know what to do now. Get out of here! You go to the Treehouse Fairy Home. You fly to the treehouse. You, I'm here to eat the fairies. I'm magical. You fly <laughs> to the treehouse and see a family of fairies. I know what to do. Oh, Wait a oh. minute. Oh, oh. Since we're in the treehouse for fairies now. Well, I tried to go home. Mm. Wake but up. The AI is kind of fucked. The, so. The great Deku tree wants to see you. you go, I walked into that. You go, hey, listen! Little fairy turns over in his sleep. Huh? What? Great 
Great Deku Tree, it's me, Link. Oh, hi. So apparently our name is Link, now and this Link. little fairy is named Great Deku Tree. C continue okay, on. Okay, continue, okay. I don't, you... <laughs> but it was Jonathan. Well, now our name is, our name is Jonathan, Jonathan Link. It was Jonathan. Bat face the, the bat face the, ru the rouge no, we were rouge the bat face the Jonathan. Wait, what was what the fuck was our name? Let's go build it was a, long. a spaceship out of how of out of all our spare out of human, all our fairy friends spare human bones fairy and wood. friends wood. And fossil fuels. <laughs> we gotta have a fuel of some sort. Mm. Well, I thought it would be the fairy magic. Fairies aren't magical. Oh. They can just fly. And they're small. Well, they're lighter than air. So the you little... just blow on one and it'll just... Yeah. It, it runs on magic. Oh, okay. The little fairy and his family get up and start collecting bones. <laughs> you, why is the great Deku tree growing a new face? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take action? <laughs> we have an objective now. <laughs> We're trying to build a spaceship to escape this new faced great Deku tree. <laughs> and maybe that angry mob of humans we ate all the toes off of. <laughs> hmm. Well, they're long gone, right? Right? Um, okay. So, we're... Let's go build a spit. You didn't put an apostrophe in let's. Uh... Okay. Alright, well, let's ignore the great Deku tree growing a new face. And, Maybe use the fairy and his family. The gang might bring up someone new. <laughs> we, we've, we, we're starting to learn that lesson. <laughs> Are we a he? No, we're fairies. Aren't all fairies a he? I thought they were all, like, just magical tricks. Oh, I was making with... a gay joke. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm more tasteful than you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. We're yeah. not tasteful here. <laughs> you don't want that. I'll take a sip and then I'll decide. I don't want that. Another sip and decide and decide it's still gross yeah. to you. Yeah, exactly. Still gross. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the fairy and... Company. There you go. Lick the <laughs> But before we'll leave, we'll lick the ground. That's how I'll say goodbye okay, to, okay, okay. to the yeah. land of Lore. We'll, we'll, we'll lick it goodbye. <laughs> um, build the spaceship. And before boarding, lick the ground a fond farewell. As is fairy tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Don't destroy the moon, the moon, humanity. The ship takes flight, but you see a small black spot in the distance. Little fairy. This one is crying. Why? Oh, I know. You. <laughs> you, you just do. <laughs> I must excuse myself for a second. Oh. Huh? You, you can't see that. It's, it's all my personal information. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Why, why is this one crying? Yeah, I'm gonna fly to Mars. Fly, fly to Mars after obtaining moon cheese. Yeah, from Phobos, mightiest, mightiest of Mars's moons.
You fly to Mars after obtaining moon cheese from Phobos, mightiest of Mars moons. You fly towards the black spot. <laughs> you, a small child is crying. I wonder what they want. The black spot resolves into a single drop of water. You, why is the moon sad? Uh, apparently we're just... We're fairies. We're tripping balls. <laughs> Wake up from... Okay, I'll wait. D then when they return, Mink will uh, know where to take the story. I was going to have have us wake up from our uh, mo uh, human toe-induced high. Eat Jonathan's son. Pinched my finger on. Eat Jonathan's son. Eat Jonathan's son. Yeah, eat Jonathan. Wait, who's that? Uh, the little fairy. Oh, we're Jonathan. Yeah, that's our the little fairy's our son. Right. You shift. Did you shift the? You yes. Shifted everything. Yeah. You shifted the everything. Yes, I did. I already said yes, I did. Okay. All right. Why is this moon sad? Okay. Uh, and that's where you said you were gonna take it. All right. That resolves into a single drop of water. Okay. Do a custom next. I have starter bases. Okay, you, you can give us starter bases once you get through with this. Okay. You ignore your own query and fly to Dune, the desert planet. The ship flies towards Dune. You, I wonder why the moon is crying. As you get closer, you see another spot on the surface. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, the desert planet. Arrakis. Spice. Arrakis. You're doing that right now. Are you going to say it instead? Um, I, no, I'm going to put it in... Yeah, I'm going to say it, but I, what, uh, I'm trying to think of the third, a third funny one to put there. Uh, Baron Harkonnen Arrakis. Man, a, I think it's A-N. I don't care. Fine. <laughs> I just wanted to do the opening monologue from Dune. Get out of here! Get... As you get close, you begin to make out features. You, desert planet. Giant sandworms. Shavuot! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, okay. Let's say here. Here. We'll, we'll, we'll finish this story. I know the best way for us to... Fight get Sting. Eaten by... <laughs> <laughs> Fight Sting and get eaten by worm. Capitalize Sting. You didn't have to erase all of it. Fight Sting in his... Speed in his, in his space undies. <laughs> in his space speedo. Get eaten by worm. Die already. Fight seeing in his space speedo. You get eaten by worm and you die already. You get eaten by a small sandworm. You a small span sandworm. Lying next to a destroyed space marine battle armor. What? You shit. You look around for Sting. He's gone. Well, goddammit. it, we're done. We're done here. Done. Done. Ski. Single player. Okay, we're going to do custom. Custom. Okay, get and okay. Give me the prompt. Give give us, give us who we are. We are Garfield the cat. Require human flesh. <laughs> you live with your owner. I I am fine with this. <laughs> okay. I I can work with this. All right. It's normal Monday for me.
I hate Mondays. I hate Mondays. <laughs> it's normal Tuesday. I was born on a Tuesday. My birthday was this week. And Garfield the cat. And require human flesh. My birthday was Monday. I require human flesh to live. And I am roommates with human owner John nice and dog Odie. beloved dog Odie. Yeah. I am Garfield the cat. I require human flesh to live and I am a roommate with human owner John and beloved dog Odie. Please spare my life. Garfield, you are <laughs> you are not a person. You're just some animal that got stuck in your neighbor's basement. We don't eat people here. But but <laughs> but but here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Say. Is he driving? Wait. Are we the? Are we actually the police? Woo. John, come over here and let me have some of your. Hey, John. Some of your fleshy, oh. fleshy. You say, oh, woo, John, come over here. Let me have some of your fleshy weshy. You raise your hand and start waving it around like a flagpole. The humans all look at each other as if they can't believe you would do such a thing. <laughs> it's your, your move. My move. Your move. God. Right up. Your objective, get human flesh. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say, because that's boring. Uh. Counsel <laughs> John and start gnawing on his face. <laughs> you lunge and pounce on John, sinking your teeth into his neck. You feel his fleshy witness squishing your mouth as you chew up his face, enjoying the flavor. <laughs> Fleshy wetness, squishy in your mouth. Delicious as lasagna. What, what, a, what a sequence of words that Almost is. Almost as delicious as a lasagna. If, if only you had more tomato sauce and less blood in... More blood! You... you... What? He wants tomato sauce because he likes lasagna, right? Yeah, I guess. In your veins. In your veins, John. After I'm done eating you, I'm going to kick Odie off of a table because that is what I do. I'm Garfield Cat. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah. Meowther. Meowther. <laughs> <Fuck>. Fucker. <laughs> Almost as delicious as lasagna. If only you had more tomato sauce and less blood in your veins, John. After I'm done eating you, I'm going to kick Odie off of a table because that's what I do. I'm Garfield the cat, Meowther. Fucker. You turn back around and wave at the camera. The doctor is frozen to place for a moment before he jumps out of his chair and starts angrily telling the others to leave the room right now. What doctor? <laughs> yeah, they, they said is... there was a crowd of people watching us. We were... We're in the neighbor's basement. And they're like, the fuck's going on? There's a talking cat here, and it's requiring flesh. And John's like, I'm here to get my cat. Now, you don't do this. You're just a cat. You don't eat flesh, Garfield. Now, come home eating some lasagna. So then we <laughs> pounced on his neck and started eating him and just be like, you don't taste like lasagna. You should don't, You should taste more like lasagna. I'm going to go do Garfield stuff after I'm through eating you. And the doctor's like, shit, fuck, get, get out of here. Everyone out of here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's uh, like... Like Independence Day. What? Like the part where they're dissecting the alien in Independence Day. I don't remember. I don't remember. You don't remember that part Day. where the tentacle wraps around the doctor's neck and they're like, I were here to fuck you over. No. Oh. It happens. Okay. I'm laughing so hard I'm coughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh... Good.
like the <laughs> clean up the dog to make like the filthy cat I am. I need his face. You, you lunge, <laughs> lunge up the doctor's leg and start <laughs> rubbing your body against his. He starts falling backwards and mm. throws his hands in the air. <laughs> Purr and devour, devour face. Flesh. Devour flesh. Face flesh. Face flesh. <laughs> Proceed to fill. Like, like you just don't care. Like you just don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's better than filling up his hands up. Like, I just don't care. <laughs> Get out of here! Mmm, if I were a human, I'd probably vomit at this site, but then I already ate a whole deer, so I know my limits, you say. <laughs> Turn. <laughs> oh damn it! I mean, oh, are you going to go? You want the mouse over there? It. Yeah. I know. Fucked up. Yeah. Okay. So our objectives right now are to either kick Odie off a table, become Satan, become Satan, find another human to devour. Well, I was uh, gonna let's uh wait. We're in a neighbor's basement. Yeah, we're in the neighbor's basement. <laughs> Let's, first off. <laughs> you leave the basement and go home to Odie. Walk down the stairs? Yeah, and out and the basement. out the basement <laughs> <laughs> The doctor is standing there rubbing his head. Yeah, remember that doctor? He, Wait, we ate that doctor's face. Is there more than one doctor? I'm so confused. It's okay. You, you've been drinking. <laughs> I uh, had two beers. I haven't been drinking that much. Slightly. I'm, my speech isn't even slurred. Around the doctor, as a cat normally does. It, it is, is the same, same doctor. doctor. Yeah, he just doesn't have a face right now. <laughs> and hunt down Odie with murderous passion. Oh, so also, much. grab an ice cream bar. From the fridge. Oh, the doctor is immortal, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you weave in between the doctor and a still dazed looking Odie, who looks like he might be, com might be coming to any second. You grab him by the scruff of the neck and drag him off the table. <laughs> Why well, didn't know Odie was down here, too? Wait, what? No, we left the basement. We left the basement. We dodged Wait, the around the doctor, there too? and we're still outside. We dodged the doctor. Wait, what? Then what table? There's Hang an outside on. table. What? Yeah, it's what? one of those like patio tables, I guess. <laughs> strangle, uh, strangle, Odie. I mean, we <laughs> we got him by the collar, and we're hanging him off the edge of the table. Okay. <laughs> and hang him from the neck till he's dead. Let's go full edgy. <laughs> Strangle Odie until he turns purple and dies. You take the lead, the lead, and wrap your fingers around Odie's throat. His eyes bulge and he drops the knife. Oh shit! He was packing. He's got a. Odie <laughs> had a fucking knife. We're on the concrete. We're on the concrete, so we're not on like grass. We're on. What it's a con it's a concrete patio table. Okay. Okay. We let out a a Monday based witticism. Decapitate Odie. Jeez. Witticism. I don't know how to spell witticism. What would it? Would it? Yeah, that sounds that that seems right. Maybe. Wit witticisms. Whatever. There. Okay. You let out a Monday based witticism. We. I should not put we there. That might really confuse it. Yeah. I don't know. The doctor could get in on it. I let out a Monday-based witticism. As Odie 
lets out his final breath with the, the swift motion Odie's head pops off like, like a wine like a wine cork <laughs> grab it and put put it on the doctor's face wound Garfield and friends I yell as my eyes bleed hyper realistic blood what it's already a creepypasta yeah, Doctor is and all. A you, you're a. He can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we put Garfield. We Hang put on. Odie's head in this giant gaping face wound, and he's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, say it. What am I? You're a. Vampire? <laughs> oh, a wasp. A grail. <laughs> Get out of here! The doctor laughs. No, you silly beast. A genius. You've shown that animals are just as intelligent as humans. You lean up against the wall completely spent. Yeah, about that. Yeah, but we gotta say a grail. It's, it's the reference. <laughs> we have. Oh, yeah, what about that? There's nothing to re. Oh, fucking. Yeah, about that. Oh, wait. Have we written ourselves oh, no, into here a you go. corner? Yeah, about that. What do you mean? Of course you are. Well, yeah, we're animals. <laughs> Say, Amy and lasagna. And human flesh. And human flesh. And you can keep the dog face. Dog face. My, my next step, and wait, now how do I, <coughs> how do I, how do I find the Necronomicon? And, and become Big Bad Beelzebub Boss. Amy and lasagna and human flesh, and you can take, the, you can keep the dog face, dog face. Now, how do I find the Necronomicon beyond Big Bad Beetle bo Beazel Boss? Is Beelze? No, whatever. I meant to be Beazel Boss. Is Beelze? That's what I said. You always say Beazel. Yeah. Is Beelze? Is Beazel Juice? The doctor thinks about it for a second. I think you can have anything you want, but I want something too, your help. You raise an eyebrow. What do you have in mind? <laughs> uh. Your move, atheists. <clears throat> okay. Man, what is this train wreck? This is even worse than the last one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, say... Okay, you know what? We're gonna... No, I like my story. <laughs> <laughs> Assemble a fucking crew to do the biggest ice... Are you gonna do that as an action? No, this is the story. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Make sure you know a guy. 
Hilfe, Bruder. Maybe even ever will. You grin. I think I can probably manage that. <laughs> I think I have a satanic frenzy. I think I know just the guy to help us. Help us. I think I know just the guy to help us. Was that, was that enough ellipses? Here's a list of the equipment you need. It's pretty straightforward. You look down at the list, Bobby. Yeah, I think I helped with that. Excellent. Okay. Now I know what we're going to do. Use equipment to become Satan. There, see, you gave us the equipment to do it, so now we can become Satan. <laughs> you grab a lighter from the table and flick it on, looking at the flick with a smile. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm Satan. Satan. <laughs> you say it with a smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best creepy pasta ever. Okay, okay. Into a satanic <laughs> pull off the heist human flesh. Pull a derringer out of your pocket and shoot your mother in the head. What? Franklin's? Shut for bloody buddy into corny and you hear Franklin's coming up the- What are Franklin's? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are these Franklin's? What, what in the name of normal is a Franklin? What is a Franklin? <laughs> And why are they coming up the stairs? <laughs> Maybe that's the name of the mouse. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, yes. Garfield lore. That he's well. a funny-looking dog with a bushy tail and three feet of teeth. Also, he likes to eat people. Ah, another people eater. Ah, fellow chucker. Ah, fellow chucker. You go. I don't know where to go with this. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. I'm... <laughs> well, we're say we've done everything we can. Make peace with the Franklins and join forces. <laughs> join forces in mutual love of face devour. <laughs> You walk up to the Franklins, who look like look like he's trying to look intimidating, and pat him on the head as you reach down, petting his face. You give him a quick hug, which surprises him. Thanos snapped the doctor. You, I'm giving you... You Thanos snapped the doctor. You grab the doctor, looking at his eyes, and you slowly break his neck. That counts, right? Enjoy a pleasant... Enjoy an enjoyable <laughs> Thanksgiving feast with your... With my new friend, the Franklins. You smile at the Franklins, winking like a big fat pig as you wave your snout of fire. <laughs> Alright, I think that's that's a good end. That's a wrap. <laughs> you the end. Okay, 
Wait, let's go. Let's. Uh, that was a good tour. Let's go to the. Where's the thing? That's the thing. Boom. Final thoughts. Oh, this little segment of the show we do. Um, I think AI Dungeons was a fantastic idea, and that might be a good backup if we don't get people for multiplayer night. Yeah. So, uh, tomorrow's Persona 4 Golden. I should be finishing Adachi's Dungeon. There's a bonus night. I had something sort of planned for that, but then um, Square Enix decided to shit the bed. Uh, there might be a holiday this week. May or may not be. Yeah. I know on uh, on uh, Friday, the Black Friday. That's the holiday, Black Friday. Gods of your stories. 10 out of 10. Better than uh, Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties. Is that what that one's called? Maybe. The sequel, the one where they CGI'd the bulldog's eyes the entire time. Uh, you mean the actual movies? I didn't. See yeah, I'm talking about that. the I'm talking about the live action movies. Yeah, I didn't watch those. Oh, you should have. Piece of crap. We're gone tonight now. Oh well, no, you got work in the morning. I can still watch a movie. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, no. Friday, I'm starting uh, Donkey Kong 64, which is one of the two most requested games on this channel. Thank you for joining us, Shadow Break, and I hope you stick around. We do a lot of irreverent nonsense. Wait, wait, you want to you do the ending or should I do the ending? Or you want to do the three, two, one? As always. Okay, three, two, one. I, I love, love you. you.